Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Nasmanian Gamer and we're back for another Mafia Definitive Edition video. This is now our episode 8. I apologize for the long wait. Uh, it's been quite busy. It's a long week. Um, I reformatted my computer so <laughs> my uh, episode 8 is kind of delayed but hey, it's, you know, I finally have time to do it so yeah, let's do this. We're on, I guess, uh, Creme de la Creme. Is that how it's supposed to be read? Anyways, let's do this. Creme de la Creme, After we killed Sergio, it was chaos for weeks. Our guys against their guys, and Morello gone to ground. But a boss can't stay hidden forever. For a Don to be feared, he's gotta be seen. Finally, word came through that he was gonna break cover. Morello wants to thumb his nose at us. Taking a show like there's not a war on, we'll meet him in the streets. We do him like this. We wait outside the theater till the end of the show. All those rich assholes will start coming out. That's when we hit Morella and his gorillas in a crowd before they see us coming. The theater is going to be packed, and not just with seps. There's a good chance the mayor, maybe even the chief, might be there too. That's the goddamn point, Tom. We kill Morella in public in front of the city's creme de la creme. Then they'll all know who's in charge. And it doesn't matter if you have a badge or a gavel or a fat wad of cash in your pocket. If you cross Salgari and his boys, you're dead. Okay, boss. We'll get it done. You take the machine guns. Make sure you don't draw attention to yourselves hanging around outside the theater. You keep the choppers hidden until you spot Morello. And then you light them up. I want it to look like that white suit is covered in roses. You got it. Sure, boss. All right, it's getting serious business this here. This is it. We're finally doing this. Yep. Keep your head. We got to get to the theater before the show's over. Tom, you're driving. As always, word, I'm boys. driving. Morello dies tonight. Tonight? Shit. Good luck, guys. And look at it, it looks like a police car. I don't know how long theater plays go on for, but getting late. Shut up and get in. Hang on, let me just... Why does that not change? Um, controls... Vehicle, change radio station, toggle radio is 4. Did it... Hang? What happened? It won't move. Okay, I think we gotta load the last checkpoint. <laughs> For some reasons, the game just, well, not froze, it's just the characters that froze. Okay, round two. This is it. We're finally doing this. Keep your head. We gotta get to the theater before the show's over. Tom, you're driving. Yeah, make sure this is it. We got the word, boys. I don't want to tonight. redo this again. Tonight? Shit. Good luck, guys. If Polly goes, like, ride, ride the vehicle, then it's good. I don't know how long theater plays go on for, but it's getting late. Well, why don't you get in, then? We don't got all night. Let's go. There you go. <laughs> Put your foot down, Tom. Can't believe after all these years we're finally going after Morello. 
Not his crew, not his family. Finally putting him in the ground. We're putting a lot of history to rest. What happens when he's gone? We'll be kings. Nah, I mean, what happens with the Don? You think he'll be all tore up? I think he'll start wearing a nice white suit. You boys doing all right? Yeah, just sweating bullets. You look how I feel. Nearly there. Let's keep it together. When we see him, go for Morello. No one else. Once he's down, these guys will panic. We're actually doing this. He's been up against the boss for what, 10 years? More. you think that white suit would make him an easier target. Alright, as usual, I he's a bear. Him. Let him have it. Go! Go! After him! Chase him down, Tom! The dot will hang us out to dry! Oh, we're gonna have close. Shoot for the cars protecting it. Let's get him out. Oh buddy! You got it! On us. A bunch of them were staked out around the theater. Last time they get paid off by Morello, tomorrow they're ours. Shit, this crate's taking too much. Morello must have been plenty nervous. His guys are out of force. Take him out if you can, or Morello's the price tonight. Oh crap! I was looked, I was looking at the uh, police yeah, car too much wheel, man, aren't ya? that I crash on a post. Damn it! If we lose him, we'll go to ground for months, more maybe. Don't let him give us a slip. He could be headed anywhere. If we don't catch him and plug him. He might even move out of state for a while. We need to whack him tonight. Come on, Tom. Get back on that fat fuck's ass. Need a shortcut. And now we're getting closer to them. Oh, that was a fast car. He's trying to shake us off in the back streets. I know this city better than anyone. Don't worry. Damn! Oh, I think we're gonna lose them. No! It's too far now. No, we lost them. Okay, redo that. Redo, redo. So fast. We all know we... We messed up too much. Way too much. Off in the back streets. I know this city better than anyone. Don't worry.
This is gonna be a squeeze. Morello's gotten himself a good driver. But he doesn't match you, Tom. Get out of the way. Damn, this car is so fast. Where's he going? He can't be skipping town with us going bumper to bumper with him. Well, wherever he's going, he's going there in a hurry. It's the airstrip. He's gonna go through the back. He's got a plane? Of course he's got a goddamn plane. There'll be more guys waiting. Good. We need to clean house. He's gotta die? This guy's gotta die. Okay. But let's keep us three off your list. They only just fixed up the airport since the last time. He's got muscle waiting. I see him. Oh, shit! God damn it! Everyone okay? Uh, yeah, I'm all right. Uh, just a bit of glass in my hair. <laughs> Nothing a cheap comb can't fix. Then we go after him on foot. Come on. Eyes open, guys. See him. You're in my sights. I got some extra muscle coming in. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm gonna need. Yeah, I'm gonna need explosives and this. Oh, the spoilie. <laughs> you think there's no friendly fire here? Oh, 
Flying, don't into that car. Tommy up front, the best shot out of all of us. Let's go. Come on, he's getting away. Get us into the air. We don't have the speed. Go. He's done for. I'm taking the wheel. Why? Cause I'm the guy that drives. And now we got a plane to catch. Okay, here's what's happening. We follow it. We see where it lands. What's with you today? Tom? Oh crap. Yeah, what's with me today? <laughs> so what was I saying? Oh right. Okay, here's what's happening. We follow it. We see where it lands, we rush in, all guns blazing, and we finish them off. No way that bird's staying in the sky. That thing's not gonna land, it's gonna crash. It look uh, what? aeronautic to you. But thank Christ we got you in the car, Professor. Morello's not gonna walk away from a plane crash. That's a maybe, but he ain't dead till we've seen him dead. Out of all of us, you two should know that by now. Well, that was far. Right over there. Still moving. Where's he trying to take it? Maybe out near the racetrack. More chance of landing it safe outside the city. Hell are maybe, but it's not gonna be safe. Wherever he comes down, we'll be there soon after. Ah, sorry, buddy. Is it gonna go? Yep. Yeah. It's going. We don't have time to relax. We gotta be sure he's dead before the cops show. No one's gonna survive that! Hell of a lot of smoke. I can't believe we did this. I know. Don't seem real. Stay alert with your guns close. We've come too far to get lazy at the end. We don't have long. Every cop in the city is gonna be on his way. We get out, we check the wreckage, we leave. Got it? Sure we do. Little bit of a uh, graphic flickering. 36 seconds. How are we gonna get there in 36 seconds? Oh, but I think this is it. It's here. 24 seconds. Daddy doesn't even know it yet. He knows it now. Yeah, pal. That'll do it. Come on. Let's make tracks.
see you on the other side, Marku. Chapter complete. Well, I guess we can do another one. Let's go. Seems like they're old pals after all. Intermezzo, 1938. You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. Do you recognize anyone? Look again. <sighs> Old man, that's Don Popone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. <laughs> that must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Papone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking Chrysler building. In 22... Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello created Devi up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if it couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears in the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam pointing a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, then the guy next to you isn't just your partner, he's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Election campaign 1938. Any trouble? No bus, no trouble at all. Got something else for me? Oh, 
all these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mine to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. OK, boss. Good. Now, we got to talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust the hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny, have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you'll give Turnbull a third eye. OK. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and his crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you would be talking to someone else. Then get it done. Well, Tommy has gained hey, a lot handsome. of... <laughs> Ladies. You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, he'll never look our way. He's a good boy. Well, bitches will be bitches, I would say. <laughs> Anyways, where was I? I was saying, Tommy has gained so much confidence within... You know, within his uh, life in the gang, I say. Like, he's the best guy now, though. Hey, Tommy. Boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Now, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat till the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in a room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. The top deck is locked. That's what the key's for. The Solier is running the town now. And we're gonna need a really good ride. What is this? 80 horsepower, we're doing driving in style. It's 125 ponies, but damn, it's heavy. It's a big vehicle.
some graphical glitches here and there. I wonder if you can park it like this. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Find a way to the prison. It's gotta be here, right? Yep. Of course it is. Not that way for sure. Oh, it's that guy we need to talk to. Okay. Hey, fella. Come over. You with Tony? Yeah. Your friend said you wanted the guard tower. Paid me to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way in. Then just keep heading up. All right, so I just uh, hey, get out there. We ain't going nowhere. Go for the green Turn signal. Around. How do you? There you go. <laughs> Almost don't want to go down. You mean you were warning me? Nice try. Well, where's the green sign though? I can't seem to find it anywhere. Oh, there you go. Why can't you people just leave us be? This is our home. Why can't you people understand that? Is that you, cop? You're locked up tight, not getting in. Someone's coming through.
know the guard tower? It's, uh, up through the main cell block. Keeps locked most of the time. Keep the feds out. Thanks. Be careful, you stranger. We're protective of our own. Am I going the right way? Doesn't seem like it. What's on here? Oh, there's a green light. And green sign, green light. Who's gone? David? David, where are you? We're heading up. Okay, so I gotta go through these guys. Hey, last chance. <coughs> I have no time for you, buddy. <laughs> Want some too? I'll make it quick. Son of a Jesus. Oh, hang on. Gotta go with full HP. Is it the one? I thought there'd be more of you to evict us. Am I close to the guard tower? Real close. Elevator's out, but you can take the stairs. Over here, nice view. So what? What are we gonna? Oh, we're gonna walk around. There it goes. Gonna be a sniper here. Ah, and there it is. There's a key room up there. You can see his face though. Is he gonna walk forward? Oh no, he walk walk backwards. Oh crap! Are you kidding me? No way! And then we get caught? Shit! 
How long have I been out? Well, that's not good. To go, I suppose, from up here. I'm supposed to go up here. Chief said he was declared dead at the scene. Suspect is wanted for murder. Come on. What the hell? Get behind me! Got him! They're shooting! What do you mean together? You're the only one. Who's the other guy?
Oh man! <laughs> well, I was trying to get it. Get away quickly. And it didn't go well. Oh my god, this is so hard. I got no wheels, I got no tires. Okay, this is getting harder and harder. I think I shouldn't have went over the bridge. Let's see, let's see. I mean, can't we get a better car? What? <laughs> I can't even <laughs> get off the car. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, it looks like a wrong decision. Police car is the wrong decision. What? I really can't. I really can't use the police car. This just—it just won't start. It won't start. The game won't let you use police car. That's what it is. Oh, you know, I just gotta. I just gotta make sure. I got this guy. Oh yeah, 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 you just can't do, you can't do a police car, yeah, that's for sure now. Because all of a sudden I just ran out of HP. I was like, that can't happen. Okay, anyways. The car we're using is the car that is right in our face. This is just way too slow though. Oh my god, oh my goodness.
I'm sorry cops my bad Oh crap, no! <laughs> Man, this mission. I was trying to get a big, uh, better vehicle. Like a faster one. That was easier than expected for the third time anyways. All I know is I'm going home in style. Look at this car, oh my goodness. Something that Don himself would only drive. I assume this is his home. Excuse you. Pardon me. Hey, sorry. How rude. Did you hear about this turnball? 
Heard he was crooked as the day is long. It says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. <sighs> Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Bradley, too late for that. <laughs> Well, guys, that's mission complete, and that's the second mission for this episode. So, yeah, we're gonna end the video, the episode 8 here. And, yeah, as usual, if you like the video, leave a thumbs up, uh, share our Facebook page, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Any help would be appreciated. And, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. Keep gaming, but, uh, boy.